write the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment joining 4 comma 2 and 8 comma 6 so let's draw the x and the y axis so for the first question we need don't need the negative arms of the axis so let's uh, draw a line segment say this is this is suppose not drawn to scale you only have to have an idea so this is 4 comma so this is a and say so this is 4 comma 2 and b say so let us call this point b which is 6 8 comma 6 and you want to find the midpoint the coordinate of the midpoint so let's call m the midpoint so if m is the midpoint one thing that you can clearly see is am is equal to bm am is equal to bm these two sides are equal so before giving me you the formula so let's do it using geometry so let us join these two and make a right angle triangle okay so i want you to look at these two triangles and think about the similarity whether they are similar now for two triangles to be similar the angles have to be equal or congruent okay so now these two are parallel this so let me call this p say this is p and say this is q okay so this angle is equal to this angle i want you to think why these two angles are equal and these two are right angle angle p is a right angle and angle q is also a right angle okay so now if these two are equal you can prove these equal in two diff in many ways but one clear way that you can see is these two are parallel so what type of angles are these two so you are thinking about angles formed by parallel lines and a transversal so let me show you that suppose if we extend this oops so let us extend this these two i want you to name the angle that you see and let me make this a transversal so if i make this a transversal what can you see okay these two are parallel and this is a transversal so this angle x or this angle is equal to this because they are corresponding angles okay now now you can say this angle is equal to this angle okay so all the corresponding angles are congruent for these two triangles so i can say triangle a a p m a p m is similar this is the notation for similar triangle m q b m q b so the triangles are similar so the sides are proportional so we can say a p over a p corresponds to m q so a p over m q is equal to a m over b m a m over b m now a m and b m are equal so this is equal to one okay so this implies what is a p so this is four on the x-axis this is so let us call the coordinate of m as x comma y so this would be x on the x-axis and this point would be 8 on the so the distance from a to p the distance from a to p would be x minus 4 so this implies can i say x minus 4 over what's the distance from m to q the distance from m to q would be the dis so this is the origin suppose that this is the origin over so this is the distance from year to year is 8 and the distance from o to this p the distance from o to this point is x so we can say mq is 8 minus 8 minus x is equal to 1 so cross multiplying x minus 4 is equal to 8 minus x so making x the subject so you can say x plus x is equal to 4 plus 8 
So I want you to see what's happening. So 2x is equal to 4 plus 8. So x is equal to 4 plus 8 over 2. So you can make the, your own formula now. What is 4 and 8? 4 is the coordinate of A and 8 is the coordinate of B. So x, which is the cord, x coordinate of the midpoint, is the average of the x coordinate of the line segment. So using the same logic, your y coordinate would be the average of the y coordinates of the two points. So this would be 2 plus 8, 2 plus 6, sorry, not 2 plus, the y coordinate of this is over 2, which is y is equal to, this is 8 over 2, 8 over 2 is 4. So your midpoint, so you can say x comma y is equal to, so this is how much, so this is 6, so 6 comma 4. This is, this point is 6 comma 4. So now directly using this formula, to find the midpoint, you have to just add the x coordinates and divide it by 2. Add the y coordinates and divide it by 2. So directly, let's use the formula. So here, I, okay, so this I think you can do it, all these two you can do it yourself. Okay, so you have to just add the x, co x coordinates and the y coordinates to get the answer. Okay, I'll move on to the next question. <laughs> AB is the diameter of a circle if A is 2 comma negative 6 and B is 4 comma 2 write the coordinate of the center of the circle. So let me draw a circle. So it's not drawn to scale. So 2 comma, so let me draw a diameter. Say, this is say the center. Let us call M the center. A, this is A and this is B. This is B. So B is 4 comma 2 and A is 2 comma negative 6. So M, which is x comma y, the coordinate of M is x comma y. So directly you add the x coordinates, which is 2 plus 4 divided by 2 which is 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and y is the same average of the x, y coordinate. So negative 6 plus 2 over 2, which is negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. So you can say x comma y is equal to 3 comma negative 2. Okay, and finally, a circle has a center 4 comma negative 3. So again, let's draw a circle. The diameter, so again, let's, again, this is not drawn to scale. This is the center. They have given us the center. The center is 4 comma negative 5. And, okay, PI is a diameter. P has a coordinate of P is 8 comma 1 and you want to find the coordinate of R which is say let me call this X comma Y. So using the same principle I can say 8 plus X divided by 2 is equal to 4. You add the X coordinates and divide it by 2 to get the X coordinate of the midpoint. So I've used the same principle. So multiplying both sides by 2 or cross multiplying x plus 8 plus x is equal to 8. So x is equal to 0. The x coordinate is 0. Now to find y, the same principle 1 plus y, 1 plus y divided by 2, 1 plus y divided by 2 is equal to negative 5. Mul multiplying or Two to both sides, I can say 1 plus y is equal to negative 10. And taking away y from, taking taking away 1 from both sides, you can say y is equal to negative 11. So your uh, r, the coordinate of r is 0, negative 11. 